To create this design, you need to add a plane and then go to the edit mode and subdivide it few times. After that, right click poke faces and then try to cards. Then you need to select these faces in the diamond shape like this and then use the insert operation. And then select these outer faces and then delete them. Then you need to use the knife tool and you need to create this kind of cuts like this. So you can get a square tile at there. Take the symmetry and delete these outer faces. So you can get a square shape. Then create few more cuts with the knife tool. After that you need to add this kind of loop cuts. Then select these edge loops and then press Alt S to scale them along the normal. Then select these edges and Ctrl B add bevel on them. Then extrude it along the normal. And then you need to add few loop cuts. Then select these faces and use the insert operation. Then add few loop cuts like this. And then select these faces. Deselect these unwanted faces. Then use the loop tool circle option. And then move it along the Z axis. And Ctrl X to dissolve it. Then use the insert operation. And create a simple looking circular detail at there. Then connect these words. And then you need to take the symmetry to replicate that design to other corners. After that, you can delete this unwanted part so we can get that square tile particularly for that design. Then you need to merge the words like this. After that, you need to select these words and you need to move these words along the z-axis. In this way. And here also some words at the bottom side. You need to move these words along the z-axis. And then you need to recreate the topology a little bit. So you can get a proper edge filler at there. and create new edges at there then select these edges and move them along the z-axis like this so you can get this kind of design then you need to add the subdemodifier. modifier then add few more edges and then take the symmetry now you can see it is looking really well select these faces use the insert operation and move them along the z-axis. Then select this edge loop and you can make a curve design at there. Like this. So this is our base style. Then delete the sub modifier and add array modifier. Increase the array count. Then add one more array modifier. And increase the array count along the y-axis. Like this. After that, rotate it into 90 degree. And then add a simple deform modifier. And bend it in 360 degree angle. And then you can add sub modifier. Now you can see it is looking really well. Then apply these modifiers. Keep the sub modifier. Then snap your object to the world origin. And then select everything and merge by distance. And then select these faces and delete them. Here we are going to use the grid fill. Select the edge loop and then use the grid fill. So you can create a right topology add there and you can maintain the form. 
For this part also, you need to delete the faces and then you need to use the grid fill at there. Then duplicate this part and move it along the z-axis. Then select the faces and merge by distance. Create one cut at here and delete unwanted faces. For circular design also, you can use the grid fill. And just you can duplicate that grid fill and complete the topology. Then take the symmetry along the x, y and z axis. Like this. Then select these edges and dissolve them. So you can get a proper corpus topology and a smooth form. Now you can see, in this way we have created the design. You can see the topology, you can see the smooth form. So that's it for today, thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye, see you next video, take care.